everybody. It's Michelle Lavore and Devin Lavore coming, coming at, at you. Ya. And so today, what I was thinking of doing is kind of just, especially for um, a lot of the new subscribers who maybe don't know our story, is like, just what kind the heck of are y'all doing? Sharing <laughs> with all of you just um, kind of a bit of our story and just kind of where it started and kind of where we're at now. Yeah. And because um, I mean, at this point, we just released manifestation story number sixty, episode sixty-five. Yeah. Last night, and we've got a breakthrough story uh, playlist that has 50 videos on it. So, that's we, a, we've that's, got a lot, that's of, a lot story. of seasons and episodes. Yes. <laughs> so, we figured, hey, maybe it would be a good idea to just kind of give a video that really just kind of summarizes the journey that we've been on. Yeah. And um, so, I'll just kind of start off. Um, we were, um, we used to live in Kansas City. Um, Missouri, Missouri. Yeah. and um, you gotta specify yeah, Kansas City, Missouri, <laughs> and we had moved there. And quite honestly, we moved there thinking a lot of the things that we're praying for now were gonna come to pass then. Mm -hmm. um, but it was just so significant because honestly, it was within the first three weeks couple that days. we were there. Yeah. First little bit, yeah, it might have only been a couple days. Um, I was given a vision of a yeah, tiny a days. tender shoot, just this green little tender shoot sprouting. And I just didn't realize at the time that that was really a picture of us and that God was going to have us in the Kansas City area to just really grow and sprout. Um, and that's why later on, when I was getting the vision of us being this tree inside of a cave, it was like, oh my gosh, that's, that's the that, same. That's the same. That's the same vision. That's the same yeah. little seed that you saw there. Now we're this big tree. Yeah. And it's like, wow, he's getting ready to just scoop us out and plant us. Mm -hmm. And of course, we're still in the we're still in the have been scooped out, but not before planted, planted yet. part. Yeah. You yes. know, we haven't been we're planted just, kind of just yet. Hovering so. in the air. Gosh. And so, um, yeah, so just some of the things even back then we were praying and it was just like, wow, that really was uh, prophetic prayers for what um, God is getting ready to do. And so um, basically we were in Kansas City. Or we lived there for about four and a half years. Yeah. And during that time, God really was just working on us um, individually um, yeah together of just you know sewing into us i mean the process that he's brought me through has just been really honestly incredible um and i'm sure i could literally make videos no, <laughs> of of <laughs> all the things that god's done that yeah. i haven't shared before oh um, yeah true and true um but then in 2016 um we really were starting to we feel this need that oh man i really feel like there's a stirring a stirring of the nest like moving somewhere and honestly when we went to kansas city we knew it was only going to be a temporary thing mm -hmm. and but we we're just like i don't know why but we're probably not going to be here for a really long time you thought like maybe i was five thinking six five years. six years yeah four and a half close enough hey early departure <laughs> we're good we're good and um <laughs> and so it was like right around then that we really were just starting to look at where are places that we would want to live. Um, and and so, and actually in June of 2016, um, I was journaling and really God gave me this word of just like what was to come, like that we would be moving to Nashville. And, and by that time, we had already been discussing yeah, um, we were like in serious yeah, prayer serious about prayer it. Like, about wow, we really feel like God, you're leading us in this to, direction, like to this place. Like, and this it was a battle. It was a battle because I really was just like, I don't want to go to Nashville. Like, this is <laughs> not where I want to be. But West God, Coast girl, right yeah. there. She wanted to go out west, <laughs> go to Utah or Denver or Some something. Place California. Where it's like, not i'm like girl california got 13 well, percent sales yeah tax. no they we did, that was no, x made off the list no but, <laughs> but um either way god just really worked it into our hearts like nashville is where where we want to be yeah, and that's and, what it boiled down to yeah, yeah and um so then also during that time frame in 2016 we really started just um 
in the summer, it was probably September time frame, maybe even, yeah, right around September-ish. Um, we had two major things. One, we really felt like um, we were gonna have another baby that God put it on our hearts to have like another. we needed to. Yeah, and we- was like, we got three, bro, we're we done. We were like, we're done. We we're said we were anymore. done a while ago, we meant it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and that actually honestly had been stirring in me for a few months. Yeah, like, like since man, May I, of 2016, yeah, and you had been stirring. Yeah, it was just kind of like, I don't and know. And then I came into the picture, I was like, I keep, babe, I, I don't know what it is. Like, it's like when you see the numbers uh -huh. or you see a prophetic sign on a billboard or something. I just kept seeing babies everywhere. Yeah. And every time I'd see the baby, I'd be like, oh. Man, yeah, baby. which was, and I'd be like, whoa, 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 wait, wait, what was that? Yeah, what was that? Yeah. <laughs> and and so it was really funny because honestly, at the time, I was actually working at a daycare with lots of babies, um, and and usually that was like uh, a deterrent. I, I get my fill. <laughs> yeah. I don't need to. I've I've been there. We're good. Yeah. And um, but we really felt like God was just like, hey, I want you to have another baby, and so, but also at that same time. He was also saying, hey, get ready to leave your job. Well, this and was like after you got pregnant though, right? No, it was, was all it? in the same time frame. Oh, it was? I mean, I didn't leave my job until after. Oh, but yeah. But it was, yeah. God was starting to just, he plopped that down right around the same time. Mm -hmm. And and so we had this vision of like, okay, I'm going to have to jump. And, and there's a lot that goes into that too, but. Well, it wasn't a vision. God just gave me a word. And it was just like, and you, yeah. Well, you just had the picture of like me jumping oh, out of the airplane. vision of the jumping out of the airplane. That's yeah. what I mean. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, we at that point, our life was being compared to, or her life, her career life was being compared to, like being on this plane. Plane where I was just. And I you were was, waiting for it to land. Yeah, I was getting <laughs> on it, but I was gonna jump off. And, and God was like, t He told me he's like, "Look, she's gonna have to jump." Yeah. And I was like, "Whoa, okay." Wow, I did not see that coming. Yeah, so this And God was, was like, here's your parachute. Come yeah. on, there's your landing spot. X marks the spot. Go ahead, jump on. Yeah. <laughs> and so this was in um, around October of 2016. God was just yeah. like, get ready to jump. And, yeah. And so it was just like, okay. And for me personally, it was a really difficult decision because I had my idea of like, well, Lord, if you want me to jump, this is this is what I need to have set up so that it, it and that's will, why he said you're gonna have it, to jump. <laughs> it will be easy to jump yeah and and I think it's so funny because really honestly near the the beginning of everything that God has been bringing us through he I asked the Lord one day I was like Lord <laughs> what are we gonna oh, be man. known for as a family and the memories are making me laugh <laughs> he said you're gonna be known for as a family of faith and, and we're like, how's that going to happen? We're like, at first, I'm like, that's awesome. Yeah. You can be known as a family. You don't yes. realize sometimes what, what that means. You know, what does it mean to really yeah. walk by faith? But it is good. And It is good. And I think in my mind, it was just like, well, it should be easy. It should be comfortable. Like, okay, Lord, I'm going to, I'm going to take this step, but I'm trusting you that you're just, you're going to lay out the red carpet so that it's we're not gonna difficult. We're going to speak it. We're going to believe it. And, and it's going to manifest in like two minutes. Yes. <laughs> and so, um, basically in December of 2016, um, I left my job. So we well, were pregnant at that time, mm -hmm. and I, um, I mean, I went through pregnant like and left the job. Yeah, left the job, and at the time, Devin was already at home, and he was working uh -huh. on his writing. So, but there wasn't an income coming from that. So basically, not we, even any interest. We had. I'm just like, wow, I must really be terrible. Yeah. <laughs> just, it's like my friends won't even check my stuff out. I'm like, wow. Lord, you really wanted me to do this? Yep, sure yep. I do. Yeah. And he's like, I still want you to do it. Yeah. But he put it on hold, but then that's like, can, well, can I say something yeah. about the, just to sweeten the deal? Because we had been on uh, food stamps mm -hmm. and, you know, medical assistance, all that, up that whole four years. Yeah, because... Yeah. And there's sometimes when I would get tired of it, and I'd be like, man, I just, I feel like the Lord's saying I'm just done with this. And it would be like, nah, Devin, I think that's just you being done with it. And I was like, okay, you're right. 
I think it, you know, eventually in the process it would come out. Yeah, that's just mm-hmm. me. But during that time, I really felt like the Lord was like, okay, you're done with this. Yeah. I really felt it. There's a difference between what you want and then what the Lord wants. There's, there's some sort of mysterious, unexplainable depth to when you know it's the Lord. It's just like, oh, man, this is the Lord. This is the Spirit speaking. Mm-hmm. And it's just like, I just knew it was just like, I'm weaning you off of this. You're going to be yeah. done with this. And then it came, and I think it was it was on uh, December, December 1st. 1st we were supposed like to we're renew done. everything. And I just knew I wasn't supposed to do it. I knew it. And I don't so know how to it. explain it to you other than those who know the Spirit of God. And how, when you know that you know. He was like, no, I don't want you. I was like, whoa. I was like, what are you doing? And of course, in our minds, like, we're, we're going to have to like, jump on a whole diff- on, on multiple platforms. You yeah, know? and honestly, you know, in our minds, it's like, all right. Well, that must mean that God is getting Ooh, ready to something. getting ready to happen. Huge. Yes. And, and so. Um, and that was true. Just, just not what we not thought. What we thought. <laughs> and so um, basically then. Um, and by then you were already well into uh, doing the, were you doing the YouTube videos with me? No. No, I was still no. by myself at by that time. At this that is 2016. Time. Yeah. Oh yeah. So coming into January of 2017, we're both not working. Um, and just we really believing God, believing God, excited for what he's going to do. Yeah. <laughs> and so, you know, we had. It was just like, all right, well, we're just going to live off of, you know, the last little dollars that we have. And, and, you know, we went for, we started right away. It was just like, all right, we're, we're homeschooling full time. We're, um, we, you were writing. homeschooling was amazing. I I mean, mean, it just, it just, the kids did so good. It was just, we were, we were rolling through it. Yeah. We were like, oh my gosh, we could do this for like ever. Yeah. And it was just easy. And so just we went on and you know come february it was just there were moments where it's like man we are literally running out of money but (laughs) then we ended up you know get your tax return and so we're like okay we got some more so we can continue to go forward and then come to march um march we was a huge month for us because um god was really telling us to pull back it was, mm-hmm. it was like, what What are you saying? He basically was asking Devin to stop writing. He mm-hmm. asked us to stop homeschooling. And... Um, and stop playing stop, Halo Reach. Yes, yeah, stop. <laughs> oh, that actually kind of bummed me out. I was like, you want me to stop my Halo? Come on, bruh. It's like, ah, all right, I'll do it. Yeah. And so we're just like, all right, but if this is what the Lord is saying, that's what yeah. we need to we're do. Like, we're we're going to do everything. And, um, and then we were, um, really hit, um, hard in, in March because all along during the pregnancy, we had been, we were just as, I expected that we were having a girl because with we, all we of our kids, her and everything. with all of our kids, God told us, um, you know, their gender before we ever found out. Um, and so we named them, like he would give Told us, us their insight, personality, personality, the things that they would even things. struggle with. Yeah. And I'm just like, wow. And, and so, all of that's turned out to be true. So, and I think. And we figured that out right away. Yeah. After and were, so <laughs> I think personally, it wasn't, I don't know that God ever really said like, yes, you're having a girl or a boy. No, I think just it just kind it. of assumed it. Yeah. And, but we're just like, all right, we're going to believe we're believing. And. We went to the ultrasound when I was about 20 weeks or a little over 20 weeks, and we found out we're having a boy. And and quite honestly, she did a little ultrasound. She was like, "I was like, oh, I thought we were having a girl." He's like, "She was like, okay, well, let me let me see. Oh no, that's a boy. Yeah, that's a boy." (laughs) I'm like, oh, and we were just. I mean, we got punched in the gut right there in that room so hard. And and why was it so difficult? It was because it was like, Lord, we were believing this one thing, but it didn't seem like you were saying anything in it. To correct us. To correct us. And so are we believing you for things that aren't you? Yeah. And I mean, it was... It rocked us, It rocked us really hard. We're talking like 7.8 earthquake rock. Yeah. I mean, it was yeah. devastating. Very it was devastating. Pretty devastating. And you know? it was, it like, was just like that was the first shaking. We'll yeah. call that <laughs> chapter one the first shaking. Yeah. <laughs> and so then um, it took us about three days, and then we we got some encouragement, and um, 
and really what it was was to worship it's like God is he is doing something in your life but just worship 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 when did we go to the ultrasound we went on the 13th and we yeah. got that on the 15th and um, but yeah. but we also received at that time once we found out it was a boy I think it was the very next day God told us his name and um, yeah and that was interesting because the first name I got, I was like, all right, Lord, you know, you get hurt, you get hit, you got to go back to the Lord and be like, all right, Lord, what, I'm here with you. And right away for me, the peace comes. Yeah. And the comfort. And it's just like, and I'm not asking God, like, well, why didn't you tell us? What's going on? Why, yeah. why did we go through all of this? What's going on? It doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. He knew it was coming. And apparently going through it was okay for him. Yeah. Because just in his way of doing things he's just like that's not going to matter it's going to be yeah. super painful i'm going to use it to actually yeah. help you but to correct you it just, it just wasn't just trust me yeah it always comes down to that with god just just trust me okay yeah. and right away i got the name uh jonathan yeah and i was like okay <laughs> and i was like jonathan that doesn't that doesn't seem like yeah the first name though yeah well you and know, you had it, written it on the board yeah. and i woke up in the morning and i was like oh my gosh like i knew that jonathan was going to be part, of his, part of his name but i also knew that it was not the, the first, first name. name yeah and so it was just like oh my gosh like okay so we got this and and basically we ended up um, God just showed us and revealed to us like what his name would be. Yeah. And, and it, um, was, it was very quick and cool. And it was like, all right, cool. And it was like, know? all right, well. And I really feel like that, like that 15th, that getting up from that devastation, that really yeah. was the, because we shut down everything. Yeah. On, what was it, March 7th. Yeah, or nine. You know, and I feel there. like that day was the, uh, or that next day, really, March 8th. March 7th, 8th, that was the entering into the ark for yeah. us, you know, yeah. and just things just, f and then on March 15th, it was just like, that was just like, I don't know, it, it was almost like, that was like the first little occurrence that happened in the ark, Yeah. you know, and then on March 25th, I got this word, I was like, God, I was like, so God, what are you, what are you saying to us right now? What's mm -hmm. going on? And God was like, it's time to get wet. Yeah. And I was like, okay, what do you mean? It's time to get wet. And man, every night oh, for yeah. months on yeah, end. Yeah, we were just, I mean, saturated in worship, of worship and prayer. And prayer and reading the word and God just giving us downloads like crazy. Yeah. So when Lana Vosser talks about the waterfall and all yeah. that, I was like, Oh my gosh, we li we lived there. Yeah, we, we lived did. there. God literally had to pull us out. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But of course, he he put us in. Yeah. But it was just like it took God to really pull us out of there. Yeah. You know, we we came out looking all prunish. Yeah. I mean, we were just like, wow. We were saturated with yeah. revelation and understanding. And I mean, it's just like breakthrough after breakthrough after breakthrough after breakthrough. That's why we have that breakthrough story. Because yeah. it was just like constant thing after thing after thing, healing after healing after well, healing and more, exposure yeah. of things and all that. And Yeah, that was further on down. Like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm yeah. just kind of fast forwarding. We're, you know how they do Genesis? They, yeah. they say, here's how the earth was created. Okay, now let's go back to day six. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of like that, you know? Yeah, so that's, that is very true. But basically then um, after March was April, and this was a huge thing for us because oh, in April, Lord. we really felt like the Lord said for us to this come. This was a one right after another. Yeah, come thing. out to, um, to the Brentwood area and to Nashville. And it was just this like, all right, we need to go. And so we left really honestly, truly believing like it was like, oh, this is our time. Like we're going, God is going to do some amazing April 2017. things. Yeah. So this was yeah. April of 2017 and um, we came out here and we were here for one week and um, oh, gosh, it was, it so was hard. The, one of the hardest things. Um, I'm pretty sure it was the hardest thing yes. of 2017. Yeah. Finding out that we were having a boy, okay, there's still hope and glory and gr yeah. awesomeness. Because God had given me a word. He said, this child that you're getting ready to birth is going to be a sign to you that I am getting ready to birth. I am getting ready to birth 
every promise that I've ever promised you, everything you were believing for back in 2001. Yeah. You know, all of that stuff back in 2000, all those things that you've been like saturated, that have been planted in you. Yeah. He's going to be a sign that I am getting ready to birth that. Now, he told me that back in... Yeah. Like basically right after you got pregnant and I'm yeah. praying about him. I'm like, so, so him, I'm praying about the child and I'm, and God, that's what God told me back yeah. then. So I don't know. What was that? Like October? Yeah, it was October. October, or November, November 2016. 2016. Yeah. yeah. So it's like, that was a long time. Yeah. So basically though, what we came out here in April. Almost um, two years ago now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and um, when we came out in April 2017, we just, we had all these high, high expectations. They and, couldn't have been higher. And yeah. we ended up having to go back to Kansas City. We went back. Um, praise the Lord, we hadn't done anything with the apartment or anything like that. So yeah. we were right back where we were. Um, and... But we were truly just completely devastated at that point, just questioning we every out, everything that we had heard from the Lord, and we were just like, "Well." I was really beyond questioning. I just yeah. didn't care. I was just like, I mean, I was just like silently just dead. Yeah. On the and inside. so we ended up um, basically at that point was a huge test as far as like we were just like, "Well, I guess we just have to go back to the normal thing." You've got to. We're we're still re like running all the money. And I guess you'll have to go get a job. Like yeah, because we to... used, like, basically everything we had to go yeah. on this trip. Yeah. And it was just like, wow. And we could have just saved ourselves yeah. literally thousands of dollars. Yeah. We just dumped into this thing. And I'm just and like, so, um, I was like, God, you did that on purpose, didn't you? You wanted us to get drained, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, <laughs> he really did. He just... You wanted to drain us. And so we just, you know, kept bumping along the road and um and also at the time you know i was pregnant and we didn't have any insurance didn't have really mm -hmm. the funds to pay for anything but we were able to connect with a, a home birth place and they god just took care of us there and um and so god just he, he really did take care of us um we ended up having a home birth um yeah. and it was just awesome and so really, once we got back, we actually, in April, we got back, it, it, we were down and out for about three days, but we were just like, no, Lord, we're, we, I mean, it's like, Lord, you've asked us to do this thing. We're going to continue to believe. Well, um, we had to repent Yeah. of anger and accusation yeah. and... I mean, we're just really mad at God. Yeah, is really what we were. We were yeah. mad. I don't think I've ever been that mad at God. I've been like, man, God, I'm disappointed. Or I don't think I've been ever been like, oh my gosh, you did this. Yeah. Like I am so angry with you right now. Yeah. And it was just like, but I was just like, you know what? This is exactly how. After about two days, mm -hmm. I was like, you know what? I almost bawled my eyes out, but I was like, you know what? We're we're responding exactly the way the devil wants us to respond. Yeah. And when I said that, I just felt the anointing of the Lord go, yes! <laughs> you know, just like, and I'm just like, we've got to repent. Yeah, and we did. We can't, we can't be mad at God. We can't. Even though you can. Yeah. But you can't stay there. No. And I'm just like, we can't. Because we are opening a door, a bad door. Yeah. And I'm just like, but it's not even about the opening the bad door. It's just like he's G I mean, Jesus died for us. We I mean yeah. God is good. He's been good. All those things. You know, a million testimonies he's given us about how good he is over our lives, demonstrating himself. We cannot be mad at him yeah. for this. There has got to be something good in this. And then I I felt like it was like a uh a scouting mission, really. Yeah, it well ultimately like the, when like we the 12 spies when we looked thing, back <laughs> at it, we realized like it really was God was sending us and then he brought us back and it really was like a this scouting. Is like after all you've been through and all you've seen and all you've tasted and of the environment and all that, do you still feel called? Do you still want to go? Absolutely. Yeah. More than ever now. Yeah. And yeah. it's like that's kind of what it was, but you don't know these things in the moment. No. You don't know it on the page that God's reading at the time over your life. Yeah. You don't see that. Yeah. You just don't. And so basically, though, we did get, when we, after we got back, after we repented, we actually did go um, to 
there was a prophecy room oh. and God just used that so much to just confirm, reconfirm just things that God has spoken over our lives and over our after kids' lives after we repented. <laughs> and it was just really encouraging. And, and then it was after that going into May was when God really started to structure our time where we had morning times with the Lord and evening times. Before that, we always did at night. But we really felt like God was like, yeah. no, I want you to have morning and night. See, and that was during that time. One of those first morning and night times when we initiated that, that was during that time where God starts talking to us about angels. Angels, yep. Right away. Yep. It was just like, whoa, so that's the first thing we're going to... Because we knew there was a shift in our God yes. times mm -hmm. and, and everything. And the first, I think the first thing that happened was. was he was talking to us about angels for like two yeah. mornings in a row. Yeah. I'm like, wow, this is like a thing. And then you know? and then that's also when we received the, the vision about being in the ark and mm -hmm. and just that we were in the ark with the Lord. And He's like, God's like, that's where you've been. This, you know, you, you entered into the ark. I'm like, oh, yeah. okay, that makes sense because we feel kind of isolated. Yeah. You know? <laughs> and so honestly, like we continue to go on um, and... You know, we were, I mean, finances were extremely tight. Like, I'm saying mm -hmm. we literally have video footage of it because we went through and every <laughs> single cupboard is completely emptied. I and mean, there is literally empty, like bro. three pieces of chicken. Yeah. Like in the refrigerator. That was all we had. And it was crazy. And we would be, we're just like, Lord, it like, was crazy. you have to, like, something has to happen. I was like, that's happen. it. I'm going to get the food stamps back. I even filled out the paperwork and everything. Yeah, and it was just and like. And the whole time, I'm just feeling that cringe of the Lord. You know what I'm saying? Like, that, that sense of, like, oh, this is bad. Yeah. This is really not the Lord, but I have to do this. It's no, like you deep. don't. Yeah. You actually don't. It's like. Uh, and it's like you got to make a decision there. Are yeah. you going to go? Are you going to trust in the Lord with all your heart? Or are you going to lean on your own understanding? Yeah. And it's just like I, I couldn't do it. Yeah. I even had the stuff sealed up and everything. It sat up there for like eight months. Yeah. It, it just, <laughs> on our little junk pile thing. And so it, and it was just really. I mean, I never mailed it in. It was really difficult. And we ended up, uh, most of those times we ended up having to ask like a friend's or something if they could just help us out or anything like yeah. that which um you know it was like all right at least we got <laughs> got a at little something at least we something. can get through, the week. We can get through. and we um, can buy some more chicken yeah <laughs> <laughs> and i mean it was just like so sparse and but this entire that entire time i was doing videos yeah on youtube like yeah. every day you know there was a, that during that april time i wasn't yeah. And then God was just like, why did you stop doing videos? I never told you to stop doing videos. Mm -hmm. And I just started doing videos again. I think I, I think it was probably like a three weeks where I wasn't doing videos or something like that, a couple mm -hmm. weeks. But then I've been doing videos ever since. Yeah. And then it was during that time, um, it, you know, and, and we really did. Like, it was still, even in that time, it was like, okay, we knew we wanted to come to Nashville, but there was still just this struggle yeah. of like, is that really where we're supposed to be? Maybe it would be better if the temptation of like, well, it could be better to go over here where we're closer to family and stuff like that. But it was just like, no, well, that that's not thing. That's not where God like, wanted us to no. be. And, and so <laughs> there was just this kind of tug of war thing. And then... Um, so July of 2017, um, Isaiah was born, and it was just during, and I'm telling you guys, this whole time, literally every single month, we were believing that the Lord was going to move us, that we yeah. were going to receive the promise. And so Maybe it'll it be was, this month. Maybe it it'll was, be this month. <laughs> so literally, it was like every month, though, you're going through this just heart you're like hoping. heart brokenness because it and then didn't your happen. Deferred, and you know? but then through it all, it's like God started. I mean, doing a lot more with the um, YouTube. That's when we really felt at that point God was just like, "Hey, why don't you set up a PayPal?" And just a completely random, yeah. "Hey, man, why don't you set up PayPal?" And I was just like, "I don't know if that's the Lord." Yeah. But it was, he was like, and that, long story short, he was like, "Look, you need to embrace this and do it." You know, because I went through a whole like an internal struggle about maybe asking people for their hard earned money for for what? What are we doing? We're not on the mission field. We're not. You know, I mean, I'm going through this whole thing with him. And he's like, look, I'm asking you to do it. Will you do what I'm asking you to do? Checkmate. Yeah, that's it right there. Yeah. So it's like checkmate. 
And he's like, you need to make sure you tell them that it's there as yeah. well. Start telling them because this whole time it's been over a year. You haven't you haven't talked about it because it hasn't been there. Yeah, it's never been. I was always doing videos for free. I'm still yeah. doing videos for free. We're not charging anything. No. God's just like, but he was like, listen, I need you to embrace this because if you don't do this, you're gonna struggle. And it was in a sense of like, you're actually not. You're gonna. You're not gonna make it. Yeah. And it's yeah. like, I have people out there, and it's just like, they're going to be blessed by what you guys are going to share, and they're going to want to give to you. Let them do that, and it's going to actually help you. Yeah. You know, there's nothing wrong with it. And I mean, I mean God had to, this is God talking to me. And I'm like, okay, but the bottom line is, you, you had me at, if it's me asking you, you know what I mean? You had me at hello. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Basically, so I just did it. Yes, and so and then August, and that really started helping us yeah, out, that man. Did help oh us my out. gosh, it was and, like people are amazing. But what was crazy is like up until basically August, we had been able to really, um, we had paid our, we were paying our rent on pretty much every month, mm -hmm. and um, but then. Um, after August started rolling, and we honestly we ended up getting different. Uh, different manager over the apartment. Yeah. And for the first time ever, we couldn't pay. And we had enough for food, but yeah, we, we couldn't... We couldn't do food couldn't, and rent at yeah, the same time. At, at the same time. And I was we like, could, Lord, well, can't you put it on someone's heart to give us enough money for rent as like, well? And I was... <laughs> if and, you're doing this PayPal thing, yeah, come on, and bro. I was, <laughs> and I was just like, for me personally, it was always just this like, how... How is it? It made me question so much of like the Lord's provision and like how could He be doing this if we if we don't have enough and <laughs> we're going through oh. all of this this process like what is the Lord doing? But also at that time was when we were being established as the two of us together doing videos. Yeah, in August. And that was in that August. Was... And so, you know, we kept going. Um, and then that's where you're talking about being saturated and, and God oh, just bringing So you've bringing been rocking up, with me for a year now. Yeah. Hello. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and, and that's really, God was doing so much heart work during that time. And just like... Yeah. So many visions came out during that time, just really putting on my heart just for Nashville and and and. Oh, that was a whole our, that, yeah, was, that a was a whole, whole thing video right itself. there. And um, I mean, the change that happened there. Yeah. She was just like, "I gotta let West Coast go. Yeah. I gotta go where God wants me to go." And yeah, I gotta let go of all my ideas. That was just yeah. like, that was an amazing breakthrough. And and so, basically. Basically, in November, we we had, it was just, I mean, lots of heart stuff. It was so but, much that had happened from August to December. But basically, by December, though, um, we were being um, evicted because we, you just, if you don't pay, you've got to leave. And it was just like, And we were understanding of the situation, and they were, they were understanding, understanding of, of our situation. situation. I was just like, hey, man, you guys got to do what you got to do. We get that. We totally get that. There's not going to be any animosity. We're not going to freak yeah, out on no. you. We're not going to destroy stuff or no. anything like that. We totally get it. I mean, and we're responsible for our own lives, and we yeah. get that. And we're just going to do, you know, what the Lord wants us to do. And and it was just like, you know, for me personally, I was just like, Lord, how can you let this happen? Yeah. Like, how can you do this? How could this be you? Right. So we're at in December and it was just like, God, you have to do something. Literally, we had no place to go. And we're just like, but we don't have a lot of money to go anywhere. I'm like, Lord, you literally have to provide. I mean, you were in a bad place. I was. You were in a bad place, and you were like, you were. What were you say? You were in the in the bathroom. Yeah, or I was, or in the bedroom. I don't know. I think I was in the bedroom, probably with um, Isaiah. And I, I prefer was the bathroom. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> throne room. But um, I was just like, God, seriously, like, if you want us to go to Nashville. You need to put thousands of dollars into our PayPal, and and I was just Which like, which had never happened, like ever, ever, and ever. and I was just like, because I knew how much it would cost to go, you know. We got this one offering once for like five hundred dollars. Yeah. And it just like it, we were, we it, were on the floor yeah. all day. Yeah. We we're like, wow, not literally, yeah. but you know what I'm saying. We we're like, dang. Yeah. That's like somebody's money. Yeah. Like, wow. Yeah, seriously. Like, oh, we were blown away. Yeah. But I was just like, Lord, we need like lots of those. Yeah. If because, you really want to move. Because we, we knew it's like if you want us to move, like 
you got to get the truck. You got to drive there. You have hotels. Like, well, and we were up against a deadline. We were. They we were like, to be they're out. going to change the locks on the 18th. Yeah, it was or the 19th. 18th. No, it was the 18th. The Monday, 18th. the 18th. I was like, they're going to change so the locks. Sunday was like our last day to get out, and it was yeah. Saturday, and we're sitting here like, what are we supposed to do? We're yeah. trying to figure out. We're what like, we well, do? maybe we could stuff stuff in storage, and maybe I don't but know. But you still need money to do all of that. Yeah. And so basically, I come out, and we ended up checking PayPal, and we literally no, had, no, no, no. This oh, is what happened. You, you're messing up the story. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you 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 tell the story. <laughs> oh my gosh! Looking no, looking back on it, it's it's kind of funny, right? Yeah. It's kind of like it's kind of funny, but in the moment, oh my gosh, yeah. it was it was heart wrenching. So I was like, well, whatever, you know, and I knew because I didn't even know any of the stuff that you had been praying uh, about. Lord, we need thousands of dollars if you're going to have us do this, et cetera, et cetera. And so I was like, well, let me just check PayPal again. Maybe maybe somebody just <clears throat> maybe there's a miracle. I don't know, you know. And um, and it's interesting because at the time we are we were getting this word about Christmas miracle. Remember mm -hmm. that? Yeah. Christmas miracle. And, and of course, at the time, we're thinking Christmas miracle being the fulfillment of the promise. Yeah, the house we're still not in yet. Yes. <laughs> That's what we were thinking. Um, but we think totally differently about everything now. It's just amazing. You just got to let God work in your heart. You know, trust him and let him do his thing. But so I sat down, I checked my PayPal, and I was like, I just froze for about 20 seconds as I'm looking at the amount of money that's suddenly in our PayPal. Yeah. And I'm like, wow. Just my, my initial thought was like, wow, we're going to Nashville. Because we had an opportunity. This is really interesting. We had an opportunity from some friends of ours who are no longer friends of ours, but when they wanted us to come out there and we were like, we're like man, man, we really could go out there. I mean, it's but, not where we're supposed to be, but, but maybe, maybe that's, that's a little way station word. that God has for us. But man, the Holy Spirit, he was on us really heavy. Like, like do not go. go there. Do not go there. And I was like, okay, um, all right. Well, and, and we even called him and said, hey, we might come. Is that cool or whatever? And they were going to make space for us and everything. It was going to be really cool. I thought, because it's a friend I'd known for years. Yeah. And, um... And the Lord was like, no, don't do it, man. Don't do it. And I was just like, okay, this is another one of those moments where I have to, I have to listen to what the Lord is saying to me and I have to be obedient to it. Yeah. And, and it was just like, so, so what I'm saying is there were no options on the table. Yeah. There were none. You know, the option that usually deals with her was off the table. Oh, yeah. The option that was presented to me, basic, basically to both of us, but <clears throat> through a connection that I had, was off, the, off table. the table. There was no nothing on the table. It was like, we're, we're going to go right to the end. I mean, you're going to have us get you're going to have us get kicked out on the street. I guess that's what we're going to end up having to happen. Yeah. I mean, if that's what you want, but Lord, we, you know, what's up? And then I checked the PayPal and they were just like, "Wow, there was an amount of money on the, in there from someone. <laughs> they were like, "You know what? I've only watched two of your videos." <laughs> I'm like, "What? <laughs> You've only watched two yeah. of our videos and you're giving us that much money?" What in the world? Only God. Yeah. You know, talk about won't he do it? Yes, he will. He will. Because we've been through it. Yeah. We've experienced it. And it's just like, and then, and then, okay, so now, well, so then now I, you can take Of over. course, Devin was like. <laughs> I was like, Michelle, in awe. He's get like, out here. He's like, come look at this. And I was like, kind of just, I'm sure I was in the moment. You probably gloves. thought I was like, I'm not in the mood to see yeah. another P1, Devin. Yeah, for real. <laughs> I don't and, care about Ferraris. <laughs> or anything else. <laughs> And Especially right I now. come out, and as soon as I saw it, I was just like, we're going to Nashville. It was just like, yep. I knew it. And 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 so we we packed up. We got we arrived here in Nashville on mm -hmm. December 18th. And right and before... And we're losing our light, but that's we okay. We are. Um, <laughs> but, like, right before we got here, um, God had given Devin a vision of how Jesus was... Um, walking with us in the desert and but our feet he like the waters were parting every step that we took oh yeah and and well he gave me that word he said yeah. the waters of adversity will not touch you and also i was concerned about our car and he told me the car will make it yeah 
It yeah, made our, it here. Our, it made it here. Our car it was that a 94. Word was fulfilled. A 94 Camry. It made it here and literally died within like, within a, week. like a week or two of yeah. us being here. And, um, and so, one of our favorite places, one of our favorite Airbnbs. Man, that Airbnb was awesome. It was, but it was also like one of like the hardest. I got so hit so hard there. Oh man, you got blasted. But anyway, so we yeah. we made it to Nashville, and and spiritually honestly, spiritually attacked. Yeah, spiritually yeah. attacked. Um, <laughs> and so we we came to Nashville, but again, like it was just this, buddy this place of where it was like oh lord you brought us here but we're not seeing the fullness of the fulfillment and so we have really just in this i mean so much has happened this year and us coming here was literally god gave me a word what was it back in june that said um because basically he gave me a word that he was getting ready to scoop our family up with both hands <laughs> five five that's the tender mercy i've made a video about that before about like when god starts to show us the five five he's getting ready to do something very tender to him he's getting ready to because you know one hand is like the power of god or breakthrough but when it's two hands it's tender like carrying a baby yeah tender. and he's what he did with our family he's like i'm just gonna pick you up and carry you i'm gonna un i'm gonna uproot you you know, like, you know, imagine the person's hands digging into the ground and then lifting up that uh, tree mm -hmm. and having all the dirt around it that's still protecting its roots. And, and then it's going to take it and put it <laughs> in another place. Well, we're still in that transitional place. We're yeah. still in the tender mercy yeah, we really part are. of 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 the uh, our story right now where God hasn't quite yet, he hasn't set us yeah. in the, a place, but... You know, but that's another prophetic word about like this room that we're in right now. God's felt like, or you felt like God said that this room that we're in is the room at the end. Like yeah. this is the room we're going to be in at the end. And sure enough, that's like, that was when this was our 34th place. Now this is our 39th place. Yeah. And it's like, so I'm just, we're just, we're, but we're just following the Lord at this yeah, point. Yeah. And, and honestly, like what's been really So cool, much journey. I mean, we've got like 50 videos and 65 yeah. videos. So it's like, there's a lot to be but, said. But what we've <laughs> learned really since we've gotten here, I believe like God had, I think he's, he started like melting us in, and, and really putting us into that refinement, <laughs> refiner's mm -hmm. fire. Yeah. And, and that's where we've been. We were liquid basically until um just like then in june it was in june that god was just like all right i'm putting you into I'm gonna the pour mold. you into a mold pour you into a mold <laughs> we were we've been in the mold basically all summer <laughs> most of summer mm -hmm. and and just really that time where god has just been really solidifying and making us strong and firm on the very thing that he's called us to be which yeah. For us is to be here in Nashville. We're we're to be a publishing house, yeah, and a and lighthouse, a lighthouse, mm -hmm. and um, just a place where, you know, it's like. And by publishing house, that means, yeah, that means videos. <laughs> yeah, that means nonfiction books. That means both of us doing our stories because we're both storytellers, novels, yeah. and children's stuff, and music. Mm -hmm. There's just a, and that's one of the reasons why we felt like God wanted us to be here. Yeah. It's like, oh, you're going to be, this is going to be like a great little haven for yeah. you guys to just launch this stuff out into the world yeah. and and just really make an impact for the kingdom of God. Yeah. You know, that is what we're called to do. Yeah. That's it. That yeah. is literally what we're called to do, you know? I and, mean, and in the process of that, we're going to be discipling people. Yeah. We're, and just, and, and really raising our family, you know, we're, yeah. God, we're, we're definitely homeschooling and we're, we're, um, just to have just really honestly, like a fairly simple life Pretty in much. the sense of, you know, like God has really shown us how important it is to, you know, you have him first. Family is second and ministry is third. And also what's what really is part of that is I believe God, he, he's been, you know, he spoke to us about um, Isaiah uh, 22, 22. Oh and, my gosh. And you guys got to go back and watch those videos. Yeah. The 222. Those, oh my and gosh. Just, and, and just <sighs> in that, he really showed us that, you know, we are going to be, um, you know, you know, like the show Fixer Up or if you haven't, ever heard of it or seen it it's basically um kind of this couple they go in they fix up homes for families that are buying the home and um, out of waco texas out of waco texas and Chip and joanna Gaines. yeah great show <laughs> and 
And but God was just like, you're going to be like fixer uppers because with Isaiah 22 verse 22, it's talking about you've got keys, you know, to open and close doors. And um, I felt like when it to the house of the Lord, yeah, to the house of the Lord, Mm -hmm. and that a lot of our ministry is honestly, it's going to be with the house (laughs) of the Lord, yeah, and where. We're going to be able to tear down walls that need to come down, mm-hmm. but rebuild and reshape through through the power of God so that people can be the homes where God can just dwell. And we're talking about the homes in your heart, your, the temple mm-hmm. of the Lord. and um, But your actual home, too, yeah. to know how to reproduce yeah. the kingdom of God in your home yeah. that's being produced in your heart. Yeah. You know? And and to and to really help, um, you know, God gave us a picture of, you know, Aaron and her helping Moses hold his arms up, and I felt like that was See, another thing. That's what the thing. sandwich numbers mean for us. Yeah, is is that you know? um, we're going to be there for They're people. They're like what sandwich numbers? Yeah, <laughs> another video. <laughs> another but, video. Maybe I can reference but, it or um, something. <laughs> but just that we're here to help hold people up, mm-hmm. so that they can see. Um, so that they can really walk into the destiny that God has yeah, for them. Yeah, they can see the victory. Yeah. Because they, they may not it. be able to hold it up on their own. They, You may not be able to hold it up, the promise and all that, hold up your faith enough to see the victory. It was like, okay, hey, hey, let's come alongside, yeah. me and you. We'll, we'll come alongside you. We'll see this victory through with you. Yeah. You know? And uh, and quite honestly, I believe that's God's already doing that with us. You know, when when we're able to encourage you guys, and if that helps you to continue to move in your faith, I, I believe that's exactly that wow. what what God has been doing. <laughs> and so, yeah. um, you know, that even is from a distance, like even this. from a distance. Wow, that's so. But true. it's like I believe that God wow. has in store for us, you know, personal relationships where we will be able to do that physically, but also how. You know, we are right now where it's it's on a di- from a distance, but that's still the role that we have um, is to encourage. Is it's like to this lift is up. the little, but God's yeah. getting ready to give us much. <laughs> yeah. You know, and, and, and how we've handled the little and the tests and the trials and the disappointments and the devastations and all that. It's like, that's how you're going to handle the much. Yeah. So. And I also wanted to say just what has been really amazing for me personally and and why I think you know going back to 2017 and we weren't able to pay the rent we ended up getting <laughs> evicted which I was just like God are, wanted that. are you serious I feel like God really wanted to make a stark contrast he's like I want to let you know this is not the place of promise yeah. and it would probably have been very easy to try and stay there we had an opportunity we could have gotten into a different place and tried to stay we really could have and and it was just like and based on conventional living we could have done it yeah you know but it's and like what, it was what just god like was god was just he was stirring up that nest and apparently it took so much stirring that god's like you're not going to be able to pay your rent he didn't tell us that at the time but like looking back at it and then now seeing i'm not kidding you guys we have been here for getting close to nine months yeah and September what? We it will be September 18th. 18th. Will be nine months. Nine um, complete like months of living here, and the entire time, God has upheld His promise to say, "The waters of adversity are not going to touch you. We have not gone without food. We have not gone without shelter." And it has really, honestly, been a stark contrast. And there was a season there where we got to go to Cracker Barrel quite a bit. Yeah. It was just like that's awesome. And it's just I'm seriously <laughs> just I'm I'm truly blown away by God, yeah. and just how much He is just like I am holding you. I am doing this. I am going forth, and and yeah. so we just. It's like we are standing here now. You and are with me. Yeah. That's what God's like. He's like, like you're with me you're with and me, I'm man. leading you. And all you have to do is continue Nothing's to say gonna yes. Nothing's going to stand in my way. No. So do you want to go with me? Sure. Yes. Uh, mm-hmm. Wait, well, hold on, hold on. That's a bad neighborhood. You sure you want to go through there? You want to go through there? <laughs> well, it's like, and, oh, yes. And I intended goes, to do this the whole time. <laughs> and it goes right back to the Psalm 23. I've, we got When we got the 23s, I was reading that. And so we were getting all the 23s, and I looked up Psalm 23, and verse 4 really stood out to me because it was it's the, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. 
for you are with me, your mm -hmm. rod and your staff, they're there to guide and to protect and to guide me. Mm -hmm. And it's like, yes, that's exactly it. It doesn't matter what we're walking through. We don't have to fear evil because God is right there, ready to protect us and guide us through. And, and I feel like that's something that God's really been speaking to um, us about is going through things. Even if it's uncomfortable, you just keep going through. You gotta go through it. Because there is so much that you can gain by going through. And, and a lot of what you gain is you get to see God. Can I say something there? Yes. I just want to, I just feel like the Lord's saying like, like what you're saying is like really true. You know, it's like you got to go through it. And I feel like some of you out there, you're, you feel stuck because mm -hmm. you look around and you're just like, I'm stuck. And you feel that groundhog day. I'm doing this over and over and over and over again. There's no change. But I, the Lord is saying you are not stuck. Mm -hmm. You know, every day is different. Every day you are moving forward. Every day there's things yes. going on in here that God is doing that he didn't do yesterday. Yeah. And it's like, there's going to, this is what's more important to him. You mm -hmm. know, can you guys mm -hmm. see that? The heart. Yes. <laughs> That's what's more important to him. And um, I just felt like the Lord said, there, there's going to come a day where you are out. Yes. Whatever it is that you're in that you feel stuck in, the, the Lord is saying, you're going to come out. Mm -hmm. at some mm -hmm. point but it's like let me do what i'm doing while you're going through it yeah. so that you can go through it because you don't want to be like the israelites and just get stuck then you can get stuck yeah if you start resisting god and just be like i don't believe anymore i'm upset i'm angry which is what 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 we, we were being tempted with in yeah. april when yeah, we were so devastated yeah. it was absolutely the most devastating thing that happened to us in 2017 yeah because it just it just was and um so that's it i just wanted i just felt like the lord wanted yeah. to give that encouragement like yes you are going through it now go through it yes <laughs> yes don't stop and just go keep through. trusting him you know you just you really do it comes down to trusting the lord talk to him about everything we keep telling our kids that you know just always always be speaking about anything, about anything. <laughs> because you know honestly for me this morning i was starting to feel a lot of anxiety and and just because of the groundhog dayness of everything <laughs> yes dayness is a word you, you got you got you got a little groundhog itis <laughs> and it was just like oh but and i was getting afraid like oh i'm gonna miss it and and you know i it was finally just like oh my gosh okay lord this is not you this is not peace. This is not joy. And where did that happen? In the shower. Thank it's you. It's a great place. Shower Thank power. <laughs> the bathroom is anointed for meetings with the Lord. <laughs> and it was just like, okay, Lord, I I just, I'm giving that to you. You be in charge of our day. And that's so amazing when and you do that. It oh. is. You just get peace and you get joy. And when he is just leading, it's like, wow, this is amazing. I love it. And and so it's like just keep going to him. Ask him to heal the wounded places, you know. And and it's like he is moving. He is working, you know. I I, I know like this is the really the it's it's a longer video, but at the same time it's really actually a very compacted version of our story because yeah. honestly, you know, this, this <laughs> we got, we got whole, a little, we got recaps of both playlists in yeah. this video. And, and really just, I mean, what God has done since we've been here, I mean, so many of you have seen the story even day by day of just what God has been bringing us through even heart wise and growth and, mm -hmm. and just the challenges that we've faced. It's like, which have been many, which have been many and, <laughs> and just, how it's but i just stand here now and i'm just like wow lord you are so amazing yeah. and i know that every day he is he's going to continue to move us forward continue to bring us to the very place that he has promised us and we we serve a god that does not lie he Come is on not now. a liar Come on now. when he speaks truth mm. he fulfills his promises mm -hmm. you know and it's you like, got to give up the win yeah, you really do. Now, that is a challenge. It's a very wow. big challenge. I think that is the challenge, right? Yeah, it really <laughs> is. To give up the win. Trust and giving up the win. There's not two bigger champions in the in yes. the soul than yes. that, you know. 
If you can conquer those two, you are good. Yeah. <laughs> you are so yeah. good. Yes. Look, he just he just met with the Lord right now. He just <laughs> met with the Lord. Aliyah, what'd you get? What'd you get from the Lord in there? <laughs> He's looking at me like, come on, Dad. Yeah. So, um, really, I think that's all we have for you guys today. There's... Oh, you didn't get anything. Oh, sometimes you don't get anything. Okay, that's cool. Okay. All right. Okay, that's cool. All right. <laughs> so, I think that's all we have for you today. Like I said, I mean, we could go on forever. But yeah. I just, you know, I just really wanted to share this um, just so that... Um, especially new people would kind of know where we're coming from um, and the journey that God's been taking us on. Yeah. And just to really even share um, maybe in, in just a one video, kind of the vision that God really has given us um, it, yeah, as, we're called as to be a, a lighthouse here. Yeah. Even that's interesting because when I was getting the 232 like crazy, I mean, I was getting like crazy. It ref One of the references is it talks about and the people who dwell in great darkness have, or t who dwell in darkness have seen a great light. Mm -hmm. That was something God gave me a long time ago in yeah. Kansas, Kansas City about coming here. Yeah. He was like, they're going to see a great light. They're going to see the the reality of the kingdom through you guys, and it's going to be awesome. Yeah, you're going to have opposition, but for those who are interested and they they really, you know, they they want that relationship with God not even with us mm -hmm. they want that relationship with God it's just it's gonna be a great light yeah. for them it's gonna be life-changing that one word from God's gonna change lives and all that and I'm just like I was like yes Lord let's do that but see he's got to he's like I'm gonna put I gotta put you in the wilderness I gotta fashion you first yes I gotta form you first and all of this forming and then he puts us in the mold and he's like all right now I'm breaking the mold I was like oh I didn't even know we were in a mold what are you talking yeah, about I know like, and honestly were, that was awesome. in the, I thought we were in the ark it's like oh it's all the same yeah dude it's all the same yeah. Yeah. listen to me talk about parables I always say the same yeah. I tell 300 different stories about the same thing yeah you know just to just knead <laughs> it into you okay yeah. I'm gonna take it this direction this time and yeah. and honestly you know if anything also I've learned is that you know a lot of times we can't really really see what God is doing until we're further from it. And then yeah. it's like, oh, that's then what you were doing. Sense. That makes total sense. Or he, he gives you dreams and you go, wow, what is that? What and is then, that about? Okay, like, we'll figure that out two later, Two or three, I guess. four months later, you're yeah. like, oh my gosh. Or a year. Yeah, you know, or, or a year something. later, or whatever like, oh, it is. Okay. And um, so, yeah, if yeah. anything, I just um, hope you guys are encouraged by this and that... Um, I don't know that you guys would be able to something that God told us this whole time and it is to enjoy enjoy this time enjoy this time oh, that was even a while ago. even being yeah. in the wilderness enjoy this time because there's something very special about it um, between us and the Lord and so I just pray that you guys would truly enjoy the time and it it doesn't mean that you have to be like, whoa, yay, happy, but just <laughs> watch some of our videos. Yes, you'll but see just that's <laughs> enjoy, enjoy the fruit of what God is doing. Enjoy this. He's doing this, a work. He is doing a deep work, mm -hmm. and and it's like enjoy the time, enjoy the going through it. Because what are you enjoying? You are enjoying Him, the mm -hmm. fact that He continues to walk with you through everything, the fact that He is always there. And, and so that's my prayer for you guys, that you would be able to enjoy the time that God is, is, is doing and working in your life right now, even yeah. when it is difficult. Yeah, so I agree. I that's, agree. That's really what we have for you guys. Um, yeah. We just so appreciate all of you, and we're so glad that um, we can be an encouragement to you yeah. and um, just as much as you guys are such an encouragement to us when we read comments and things and so we just or really when you appreciate give that. to us that's yes. just that blows huge. us away right there I'm man huge. people are amazing yes so <laughs> until next time guys we will see you later bye guys bye <laughs>